So the the second software which I'm planning as well to include on the set of, of seminars, which as I have explained in the previous video about sim biology, that in, in initially it, it, it must it should be a set of seminar as part of the third science. My uh, part of the small group called Bisma inside this the third science group. In the previous video, I have explained shortly uh, about scene biology. I have uh, given you the idea how the software works, and uh, I'm planning to be to, to bring more details about the software. On this one, I'm, I'm I'd like to show a second one, which uh, I think as well is, is is quite interesting, promising for 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 my medical modeling. I believe buffer the software can be very useful for for people that. Um, uh, I believe is is going to follow the the seminars. Um, I, unfortunately, I I know that it, it is it's impossible in, in four hours to teach all this the, the this stuff, and just one of the software could take it all the four hours to teach it. And if, if in the uh, let's say Simulink have been working with that for a while, but Sim biology not. So in this case, I'll be able to teach a lot about about the uh, about the uh, simulink applied to life science and medical science uh, but even sim biology what i have learned so far i believe we we already take a lot to to teach how so i i believe the, the idea of the uh, especially of the seminar which is time limited i believe the webinar have more freedom but the, especially about the seminars the basic idea is to is to show the people uh, the kind of tool that can be used in MATLAB. In this case, I'm talking about symbiology and symbolink. And the, in the first two part, I'm I plan to discuss some basics. So people, I believe, in the, after the four model, they have a very clear idea about uh, about MATLAB. About my own experience, it's not a matter if you are a med medical doctor or, or you are a computer science. The only way to learn this stuff is by applying. I mean, you can you can follow a course, you can see how it works, but uh, just by applying, by seeing how difficult and the uh, evolving that you should you you should be able to 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 apply it efficiently. So as I have explained in the previous videos, this is MATLAB. I mean, if you are not familiar, if you are, it's okay. Here you have a set of tools. Here you have a kind of, a, uh, this is part of the new version. I mean, the old version, you, you should see just, I believe, just the home. The new version, you have some this kind of, of your option. The new version, have have nice that you have, like, instead of write the plot here, you have already some options, that, like in Excel, you already have some uh, uh, plots capability already built. I'm going to show this stuff very, very fast. I mean, in the other videos and in the pages, and in the webinar, or as well, as well in the seminars. So basically, uh, as I explained in the previous video, not for you to access sim biology, you, you, you could come here, and here is sim biology. Uh, but uh, I believe that because uh, uh, simulating is, 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 I believe, is older than than in MATLAB, it's older than in sim biology, and also more generic. They, it's it's on the home, it's not on the on the app. So it's here. Uh, so you may you, you may either click here, or you may just type simul link. Uh, sorry, as you see here, I have done a mistake. But the nice stuff that new version of MATLAB did help the ask you, you, you uh, exactly what you meant. So uh, once you, you have opened the, the software, this is the the window that you you you're supposed to see. Uh, this is the it's called the called the the library. Which you can you can find most of the things that you need to use. Uh, the nice thing about Simulink that the, the it it has it has invaded encompassed inside the 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 software most of the build of MATLAB. So most of the technique that you generally can use as a command line or as a function or as an end fire can also be used inside Simulink. 
such as an example is you have here the the two box of the uh, artificial neural network which honestly I have just used outside of simulink I'm not pretty sure um, how that can be very used inside simulink but I believe it's not difficult because I have used techniques here that I have not used before in command line and they were very straightforward and easy to use to use so basically uh, when you build when you when you build a model you just need to create a new model and uh, you're supposed to see this window so here you can do uh, to the job that you want uh, so here you build the model by 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 dragging such as here you have for example let's say as a commonly used blocks such as you have an, as an example they are they are commonly used so as you start as you start to use it they start to be uh, they start to be unfailable for you uh, so uh, so here you can uh, you can change the size of the of the of the window but uh, sometimes it's better if you can make it smaller so anyway I, you can find a way to make it smaller but uh, basically you build the model by uh, here the error and you build the model by by doing this kind of uh, of uh, of drag in the, in the inside here so you build the model step by step uh, the example I'm planning to use comes from my own research. I'm planning to use one example that I, I used in the beginning of my, in the second part of my PhD, and the, it was a very important starting point for my own research. This is a uh, one uh, one example of the kind of uh, of uh, of mods that you can create uh, using Simulink. This one is was created for simulate the, the dynamic of leptin. It's a mathematical model where you, you can find the uh, if you are interested. I mean, I'm go, I'm planning to use this this mod as an example. Was built by myself as part of my research. If I interested, I have published a short paper on that. Uh, you have two attachments in that paper. One, you can find the, the Simulink, the same, the, the same model I'm going to use here. You cannot find it explained here. Unfortunately, it's in Portuguese, but uh, maybe you can follow it. And the second one, you can find the same, uh, the same model was a version of, uh, built, my, built by my advisor. Uh, he did the same model that I did in Simulink. But instead of that, he used the the built-in function of MATLAB. As a matter of fact, because at Simulink, what Simulink does is to is to is to make it easier for you to use the function. Because for example, here you see all the 45. That that default at, at this current time is this function, which is a function MATLAB. So Simulink does not create new function MATLAB. It just uses the same. So it not it not needs need necessarily to use Simulink, not to use the the, the numeric capability of MATLAB, but Simulink make your life easier because, for example, uh, you can build the model this way, which is much easier. Then you can run the model uh, as a as a conventional code, like here. See here, I'm calling the I'm calling the model. So I build the model by graphic, and then call the model like a uh, code. Uh, Symbiology also have the same capability. Uh, it's a uh, it's a defense capability. So here, see the uh, called analysis of sensibility. Uh, here you have the clearance rate of leptin, and here you have the body weight of the mice, of the of the mouse that the the study was in mouse. The the, uh, the the mod was based for mouse. I don't get into detail because that's not the the goal of this video. So basically, this is one of the, the interesting capability of the, of the, of the, of Simulink. Uh, the the work layer. See here, you can go inside. This mod was built when I was still learning Simulink, so um, uh, about two years ago, I believe this mod was built. I was uh, I'm not very old in Simulink, so some stuff can be improved. But however, I believe it can be a good starting point for uh, for a uh, course for people that are also in the beginning. I have much more experience Simulink than I have with this Symbiology. Symbiology I have learned just for this. So I, maybe I can leave. Uh, I'm not pretty sure how much time I'm going to share between them, but that uh, that is show to the people that are going to follow the two different possibilities to build models for biology and medicine.
of course, not expect that people should, should learn in one hour for each of them everything. But the the beginning, the, uh, the idea is that he, is that uh, people that follow the, the webinars, the seminar, they can their day by day life. This is the medical doctor, biologist. I believe they see data all the time. They see problem all the time. The idea is to give them a, a kind of a, a mathematical modeling sensibility, like a ring a bell. You see a very nice model, a very nice data. You see like ring a bell, like I could do something with that. So that's one of their idea. The, the, the idea, one of the idea behind the the, the webinar or seminars. So I'll stop here because that's not the goal of the of this. Just just present the, the software that we are going to use.